you got to find some happy medium where you can relax. You can't change it at this point. Overly focusing on the science and the cures that I'm confident are coming, we, we can't let ourselves get overly focused on that, and, and so much so that we forget to live. I don't spend a lot of time thinking about the future, and I don't know if that's a protective or a defensive technique or if it's just my personality. When we do talk about the future, and my wife and I talk about that, talking about raising families and having kids, and you know the things I think a lot of folks take for granted, and these are big things we had to decide when we first got together, and my wife had to decide if these were things she was comfortable with, creating a family with me. Croideremia is a inherited disease. It's part of what I was born with in my genetics, and it is a progressive vision loss that people phrase as tunnel vision. With my vision, I'm slowly starting to lose what's out in the sides of my vision. What comes with that is not just a, a lack of perception in your left and right world, but it also comes with a lot of sensitivity to lighting. You need a lot of light, but not too much. And low lighting is just as difficult. It can make you feel almost totally blind. I've known about the realities of my vision loss my whole life, and I don't think I, in my situation I've ever had the opportunity to be totally carefree. Always have to be aware of it. Everywhere you go you have to wonder what's the lighting going to be like? Where am I going to be at? If I'm not with people I know and I don't know the space, well, you know, how do I get to the restroom? What's the easiest way to do this? Would you choose not to have vision loss if it meant you didn't have the life you have today? I think anybody in the right mind would say yes, I'd, I'd risk not having what I have today to not have vision loss, but I'm not upset about it. I have a beautiful wife and a beautiful home and a, and a career to be proud of, what more can you ask for? I think we're all hunting for that. The, CCT. the ways we're able to start to incorporate modern technologies into spreading our word. I would be impressed if I get to the point of very, very low vision before there's at least a halt to the vision loss available. I don't often entertain the idea of getting more vision back. It's a fun thing to think about once in a while. You know, I always say if we could get to the point where we can just have this vision loss stop and just stay where I'm at, I would be the happiest camper.